Guys, Emma Stone is ready. Let's go. The first time I saw the movie with an audience was with my mother on Christmas Day, and she had not seen it yet. And so she, of course, told everyone in the concession line and everyone as they were going, and my daughter co-wrote this, my daughter co-wrote this. I'm like, dude, chill, chill. The first time we test it, we're in Los Angeles. We're with this Pharrell Williams, who is a star, so we have to go underground, underneath, like to hide him, so nobody can possibly see him. It was at the Venice Film Festival, and it was a trip. It was a trip. There were subtitles, and I was sweating a lot. Very nervous. Getting to hear people react. You know, we come from the theater world, so we're used to people reacting in real time, and, and to get to hear people, uh, they broke Respond out into- Like they would in a show. Yeah, they broke yeah. out into an applause after the, the opening number, and we were like, oh my gosh. First time I saw it properly with an audience, it was overwhelming, because I could feel and hear everyone crying around me, and it was sobbing and weeping. It was an intensely satisfying experience to cause distress for all these people. When I saw it with a big audience in in Italy, uh, and I got a standing ovation, it was like it was it was quite gratifying. I, I think they liked it, or they appeared to, unless they were all faking, which I suppose is a possibility. The first time is with our test screening. We had a test screening in Sherman Oaks at the ArcLight. I've never seen a test audience react like that. The house lights went up, and people were wiping their eyes. A number of people stood up and I've never seen that at a test screening. We always knew that Arrival was a unique movie. People hook into it, and also I think like you have to participate. You gotta work through the movie. There's a hunger for that, for kind of a movie that assumes the best and the most of its audience, and uh, and we felt that the first time we screened it. I wasn't at the premiere, any of the premieres, any of the screenings in the film festival, and uh, Venice, Telluride, Toronto, I missed all the party. It was like giving birth to a, to a child and giving to a, a, a adoption. First time I saw Captain Fantastic completed with all the music and everything color corrected was at Sundance, yeah. A little over a year ago, the Oscars and all the sort of big award shows, whether you get nominated or not, it's a bit of a crapshoot, really. I mean, a lot of things have to come together, especially for a small, independent movie. The first time we saw it with an audience was on Skype, and it was the volunteers at Sundance. That's right! So and we were really on funny. Skype. We were on Skype, and we couldn't quite see what was it like. Do they like it? You can't tell. The premiere was in Cannes um, in May, and um, since then, a lot of um, great things happened. The film was... Um, released in a lot of countries. I traveled a lot and yeah, I enjoyed it. First time I saw it with an audience was actually at the premiere. And it was pretty surreal because I actually hadn't seen it all come together uh, in many months working on it. So it was amazing to be able to sit there and see and watch the audience's reaction and having my own reaction at the same time. I was so blown away. Um, and it was lovely because I was sitting next to Jeff Nichols, the writer director, and Joel Edgerton. And I felt that there was like a huge swell of emotion and we knew we'd made something that was very moving, honoring this couple, and that I think we knew it would resonate with people.